Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on um, things about Gmod and stuff. Um, I'm just going to show you some basic things. Um, the gun I have in my hand right now is basically uh, one of the main guns where you can pick up objects and move them around and freeze them and stuff. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is uh, hold down Q and it'll pop up with this big menu. may take a while to load. Uh, depends on you know your computer, how fast it runs, whatever. It'll load all the objects, don't worry if you lag a lot. Um, it'll be done lagging in like about a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, you click an object and it'll spawn it. And uh, once you spawn it, you can pick it up by using your left click, you know, moving it around and stuff. And right click freezes it. And uh, you can, you know, rotate it uh, by holding down E. So if you hold down E, you can rotate it around and freeze it and stuff. Um, there's another way to rotate it. You hold down Shifty, and when you hold down Shifty, it does 45 degree uh, turns. But probably an easier way to straighten it out. Um, that's basically it with this gun. Uh, you can do anything with it. Um, the next thing I want to show you is your tool gun. Your tool gun is basically the main gun for wiring and for anything else you want to do, maybe like um, anything on your tools menu. So basically anything over here, you're going to be, you know, spawn a couch or something, you're going to use it with your physics gun. Um, if you want to use any of your tools, you have to use your tool gun. So it's like real life, you know? Uh, you know, you can do anything. Um, I won't get into any of this stuff until you get used to the game and stuff. Uh, there's a couple things you can do if you know common sense and axis, you know, make something spin on it. Uh, motor, make something move. Muscle, makes it stronger. A nail, you know, nail something to it. Rope, it's just a rope. Slider, maybe something to slide open like a door. Weld, you know, put connect two things together you know all these common sense stuff thrusters like a motor kind of a turret you know wheels yeah I won't get into any of that stuff right now I'll show you just a couple of things um, in the next tutorial this is basically all you need to know right now spawn anything you want move it around freeze it that um, I'm actually I'm gonna show you a couple things let's see you have the props that you can spawn and then also you have the NPCs. You can spawn any kind of an NPC, but an NPC is the things that control themselves. So you don't control them unless you have an add-on for it. But uh, this is an NPC. You know, he keeps himself up and steady, and whatever. Uh, if you want to control them, you would go to props and you would click a game that has characters in it and stuff, and you would click it and it would spawn that character laying on the ground and you can control this one you can make it do anything you want you can always have fun and stuff you know, let me bring his head forward basically screw around with his face or whatever I'll get into that later uh, you can do uh, entities which are right now these are uh, these right here are add-ons. These are the things you start out with. You know, you can screw around with a bouncy ball or something. It just kind of bounces around. It's kind of cool. Uh, these are add-ons. Um, vehicles. You'll start out with only a couple vehicles. I don't know if you'll have these, but yeah, you won't have those. You'll have Half-Life 2 vehicles. Not as much as this. At least I don't think. And then you'll have Phoenix Storm if you've downloaded the good add-ons. Um, you know, you can just spawn vehicles and drive them around. Oh, I'll spawn a jeep. You can get inside and drive them around and stuff. It's cool. Um, once you get into downloading add-ons and stuff, you can, you know, go into props and you'll have these cool props like this. Here, let me find it. Um, I think... I think it's in one of these down here. Hold on a second. Sorry. Here it is. All right. You can spawn stuff like this. 
Sorry for the lag. Hold on. Let's go load all that. Okay. And you know, you can spawn jumps. You can do whatever you want. Spawn cars and go off the jumps, whatnot, whatever. You spawn a bunch of stuff. It gets a lot cooler than this. There's a lot more stuff you can do. Um, if you keep watching, I'm going to join one of my maps that I made and I'll show you something that I made. I'll be right back. Alright, basically this is a, a little thing I made. Um, it's not all one thing, I can't just pick it all up, but this is all separately made and stuff. Uh, this is a little more advanced, you're not going to be getting into this stuff, but if you look at this stuff that I've made right now, you'll probably want to get as advanced as this because that's cool. Uh, right here is actually kind of really, well not really, but it's hard to make for beginners and stuff. It took me a while to figure that out and stuff. But uh, this is an automatic door. It uh, senses you 200 inches away and it'll open up for you. Uh, and here is a door that I made. Uh, you know, I you don't always have to move it like this, but you know, there's a little button I made for it. You can open it up like that, but I won't do that right now. Uh, I have an elevator. You press this button and it lowers down this thing that I made and uh basically just an elevator you can screw around with it make houses and stuff uh there's TVs and stuff that I'll get into later on but yeah you can make elevators and stuff just sit on it this is just this rope right here I didn't mean to actually show it but whatever I didn't really want to redo it uh automatic doors whatnot um basically if you watch all my tutorials I'll start getting into this kind of stuff and I'll teach you how to make this uh, it's not that complicated once you get good at it, uh, so watch tutorial too.